Welcome to my channel, DJ Donzi GH. This is the Time with the Legends program. Today we are going to study something about Tete Kwashi. We've heard a whole lot about Tete Kwashi. Now, listen very careful. I'm going to give you every detail about Tete Kwashi. Tete Kwashi was born in 1842 to a farmer from Tishi, Mleku boy, and mother, Ashon Fio, both hailing from the Ga Dangbe ethnic group. Tete Kwashi changed Ghana's faith at age 34 when he introduced the magic beans into the country. In his teens, Tete Kwashi became an apprentice a Basel mission workshop at a coupon. Due to his hard work, he soon became the master blacksmith and was in fact the first blacksmith to be established at Equipen Mambon. His hobby was farming. In 1870, Totakwasi went to a missionary trip to the Spanish colony Fernando Po, now called Bioko in Equatorial Guinea and returned about six years later with six cocoa beans and made history. History has it that Basel missionaries introduced the crop into Ghana after the Dutch tried planting in the coastal areas of the then Gold Coast. None of these missionaries, however, managed to establish a trivium farm that still yields fruit for Ghana several years on. Tete Kwasi did when he brought cocoa from his journey in Fernando Po, a blacksmith toolbox. Thus, what six cocoa pods were hidden in and shipped back into the then Gold Coast. Considering he was on a missionary journey in Fernando Po, he was required to pass through the checkpoint like every individual returning to their various countries to be checked for any foreign items. At this point, it was a decision to get exposed or to strategically hide some six cocoa pods he had taken from Fernando Po. He hid the cocoa pods at the bottom of his toolbox and covered it with his own forged tools. Over six weeks on the ship, he journeyed back to Gold Coast with his port. Even here, he went back home and tried planting the first seed in Accra that yielded dough with the soil type mostly sandy and clay. Then his missionary work came in. He found good soil in Mamponekiape, where his Basel missionary works continued. There he was given some acres of land by the then Mampon chief, where he planted his very first seed, and that where cocoa cultivation started in Gold Coast down Ghana. 140 years on, and Ghana is still reaping the fruits of his bravery and toil. This is something that I want you to know about Tete Kwasi, and I guess you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.